Welcome back to the shop, boys. Guess what today is? New tool day. 14 inch bandsaw from Grizzly Tools. G0555LX. This will be an unboxing assembly video. I hope you guys like it. The old Taiwan. We'll give her the old stabbing. Stuck on something. So that's the first thing you see when you take that styrofoam out. It looks like it's mostly assembled. For some reason I thought you had to do a lot of assembly on this. Uh, well, I'm not going to complain. Feels like cast iron. That's pretty thick. I like that better than the formed steel. What kind of blade they put on it? Cheapo. Well, I'm going to have to rig this up to my roof hoist and pull it out of the box because I'm not strong enough to pick this up by myself. It does seem like it's pretty well constructed. All this whole frame is made of cast iron. The wheels are also made out of cast iron. I need to see if I can find the instructions. No one's home. Nope, not me. Like I said earlier, I'm going to put a strap probably around the neck right there and use my little one-ton chain hoist to pull it out of the box. I don't have anybody here to help me move it, so... Well, like me being a dumbass, I thought this was metal and it's plastic and it shattered immediately when I picked this up. I really need a beer now. Right out. Each component has its own slot cut in the styrofoam. I mean, obviously they cared, or else that would have just been thrown in a box and cardboard put between it. I'm really impressed with their packaging. The powder coat feels like it's pretty high quality. Um, the only thing I'm struggling to find is the instructions. I don't know if they just think that we can do it without. I'm sure it's just coupled with the other instructions for the bandsaw. So now that we got the bandsaw out, I'm wondering if I open this box upside down. I think I might have. Because it did not want to come out of there. So there's the fence, the table, instructions. That's what we need. So according to the instructions, you got to put these top two braces in and these bottom two braces in with eight bolts, washers, and nuts. Usually what I like to do is set up the, set out the washers and bolts to kind of where they're going. Something I found interesting about these is the nut is 7 16 The head on the bolt is 10 millimeter, but it's quarter 20 threads. I wonder if that was just a cheaper way of manufacturing. I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those on, that on, and then what you do is you put the other one of these in. It's right there. And then you put the top on last. So once again, I've laid out my fasteners. That way when I put that top piece on, they'll just be right there so I can grab them and throw them in the holes and then snug them down. So now that I got all that put together, what I'm gonna do is put it on flat surface, like on this piece of concrete. Then I'll go down and snug all of them up on both sides. Then we'll put the top on, then we'll flip it over and put the feet on. Set up the feet, you have to put this, this nut on and a washer on. And since I have four of them and I want them to be equal, I just grabbed a piece of scrap wood and I just put it in there and ran the nut down until it touched. And I did this on all four before I attempted to put them on the base. Foot in, and remember with that nut and washer that I showed you earlier, and then you'll put a washer and then another nut on the other side. Step's going to be to either get a strong guy to help you lift it or use a hoist like I've got to lift the bandsaw into the base that we just assembled. Just put the bolts in, 
that were supplied with the saw. Next thing up is to put the trunnion on. They already pre-inserted these two bolts. You just you pull those out. I believe that sits on there just like that. The next thing we're gonna do is install the table. I recommend that you remove the saw blade. It's just too big of a pain in the ass to try to jimmy the table into there with it in. And then you'll install these two little knobs on the bottom. Now would probably be a good time to clean all the rust inhibitor off the table. I'm using acetone. See if it works. Yep, seems to work. So the next thing you want to do is install the fence guides. This is the front one. This is the back one. This one gets two Allen head cap screws here and here. This one gets some quarter 20 bolts on the front. Okay, now this is hard for me to explain, so I'm gonna have to kind of just show you what I did to get the fence all set up right. So on this back fence guide, what I did is I, I pushed down and I tightened the Allen screws, and then I took a square, a speed square, and measured here and made sure it was the same between here and here and here and here. So on the front one, what I did is I slid the fence on and then I, I adjusted the guide to what gap I wanted. So the guide goes up, the gap gets bigger. The guide goes down, the gap gets skinnier. And then I adjusted this back little stop to match the gap all the way across. I'm sure a lot of you would want it to be super tight. Mine's, I, there's a gap there. It's probably about 332. I'm gonna try it like that and see how it goes. And you can adjust these up and down. If you want it to be tight, just adjust it down. And then I took a speed square and I made sure the dimension from here to the top of here was the same on both bolts. The last thing you'll install is this lever. This lever goes right, right up here into this. This is the quick tension lever. And you'll just screw that in and then tighten that jam nut up. Okay, and now that we've got everything together, next thing we gotta do is adjust the tension on the blade. And you do that by adjusting this knob. Our blade is a 3 8 blade, so the top edge of that red little washer spacer thing needs to be at what blade tension you need to be at. And then you'll push this all the way right. And then what you wanna do is spin the wheel a couple times to make sure that the blade is in the center if that's not centered you can adjust this knob here and it'll it'll track the blade on the center of this wheel and then you'll just lock it down with this nut that brass lock Next step nut. is you're going to want to loosen this allen cap screw and you're going to want to adjust this knurled uh, nut to pull the bearings back you don't want them riding on the teeth you want them back just a hair past the teeth and then you set this set screw tight again. You'll have to loosen this Allen cap screw. See how the bearings aren't touching the blade? What you'll do is you'll adjust it just ever so slightly. So it barely touches the blade. And you'll have to do this on top and bottom. And then you'll tighten this back up when you got it set. Then what you'll do is you'll loosen this Allen cap screw, use this adjuster knob on the back side, right there. And you wanna have a 16 thou gap between the back of the blade and the face of this roller bearing. So I've got the blade guides on top adjusted and the ones on bottom adjusted. Last thing I did was double check to make sure that the table was 90 to the blade. Everything looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and give her a first cut. So I've got everything set up. 
Um, I've turned it on, made sure it runs well. I'm gonna do a test cut. Seemed to cut good. So I ran a couple pieces of wood through it. <clears throat> My blade adjustment wasn't right. I got it right now. I can't even explain to you how I got it. It's one of those things you're gonna have to figure it out on your own. I just, I think every saw is gonna be a little different too. <clears throat> but anyway, listen how quiet this thing is. You can barely even hear it. I mean, no vibration at all. I think the blade they send you with is kind of a piece too. I got some new blades on the way. I'll definitely be doing a follow-up video on this thing just to let you know how, it, how it's been working. Do what's funny, this badge from a distance looks like it's high quality, but look, fake screw, fake screw, real screw, <laughs> real screw. I think it's just coated plastic too. Awesome. Overall, I'm very happy with this saw. We'll see what kind of neat projects I can churn out with it. Thanks for watching, guys.